finish the season. Here's the 0-2 pitch to Michael Taylor. Line drive, solid base hit to right field. Frank Corr throwing to first in the throw, and he's out. How do you like that? 9-3, Jeff Fred Corr with that gun in right field. A ball that was smoked out there and charging, taking on a hop was Frank Corr, and Michael Taylor is stunned. Welcome to the big leagues, Michael Taylor. Jeff Francourt threw him out at first base, nine to. Well, from what we've seen so far tonight, no. Base hit to right field. Ludwig heading home. Here comes the throw from Francourt, and he is out. There's a base hit. Frenchy grabs the baseball. They're going to send Dirks home the throw to the plate, and they're going to get him by a mile. <laughs> Victor says, you know what? I've been through so much last year with my busted knee. There's no way I'm challenging Salvi here. And he just peeled off and gave him the out. So another assist for Frenchie and a good job. In the air, right center field. Kane racing for it and can't hang on. They will send the runner. The throw by Francoeur. And they got him. Jeff Francoeur, the kid from Atlanta, with a strike to Salvador Perez. Lorenzo missed it. Frenchy says, I got him. On the money, honey. Out. Here's the base hit. Perez is going to make the turn. Francoeur control. He got it. I'm Perfect sure. strike. I'm not sure. Too old from Pelfrey. Live the other way. That's a base hit for Sanchez. But there's no way that Johnson's going to try and score. It goes through the stop sign. And now he's in a rundown. Terrible base running by Johnson. And Blanco slaps the tag on him to end the end. Three earned. That's a base hit. Kotsman delivers. One run is in. Here comes a throw by Frank Coran. He got Escobar at the plate. And there's a shot into right field, a base hit. Here comes Molina. They're going to wave him in. Here's Frank Coors throw. It is in time. And a perfect throw. Off the end of the bat. And it's going to drop in front of Frank Coors, who can throw. And to the plate. Trainers got it. And Mathis is out. Six times. And that is popped up. Shallow right center, Frank Coor wants it, tagging at third, and coming to the plate is Zobrist, and the throw is in time. It's a napkins blowing all around the ballpark as Avila rounds it into right field, and Peralta is going to challenge Frank Coor, who comes up firing and right on the money. Man, what a throw. the end of the bat and that's gonna parachute over Wilson Betamid and into right field Lee is gonna test Jeff Francoeur bad decision line to right right at Francoeur he's running up as he makes the catch Jackson to the plate and he is out at the plate Ta he kind of he's kind of a has a quick arm motion down Granderson's going to tag. Frank Coor is going to come up throwing. On the money, double play. Is that number 102? I don't know, but that was a perfectly hit ball for. And a changeup is hit over Hosmer and down toward the corner. Frank Coor into a slide to save it. Wise is trying for two. And did he slide by the bag? He did. He had the double. But he went over second base. And that is outfield assist. Number 119 for Jeff Francoeur. The most in the major leagues since he became a big leader. I told you early he's got the best arm in the world. Here it is. Diaspo toward the hole on the right side. That'll get into right field, a base hit. On his way to third is Peterson. The throw by Frank Corr is in time. Out at third base. Yeah. Fly 
ball. Shallow right field. Frank Cor comes angling in. Over toward the line. Makes the catch. Taggy from third is line. Bardozzi. The throw to the plate. He is out! What a throw by Jeff Frank Cor. Picking up your teammate right there, Team Mac. That will be a save that Jonathan Papelbon and everybody else will remember. He passes Jose Mesa as the all-time saves leader in Philadelphia Phillies history. And that one slapped to left field. Frank Cora, long run to get to the baseball. Juan Samuel will wave home Galvis. The floor to the plate is going to be in time. He got him. And Terrell. Lined over third. That's going to get down for a hit. Dietrich around third is going to score. Frank Poor's throw comes into third, and it's going to be in time. Popped up. NCRT and Frank Coor. Jeff says he's got it. There's the catch. Runner tag coming for the plate. Throw is on target and in time. Jeff was not going to let Ender take that. Ender has a ton of assists. Jeff Frank Coor let him know, I got it. I got it. And man, oh man, did he make a good throw on this one right on the money. Tom Glavin in the spring. A base hit on a 2 0 count. Here comes Kershaw around. Frank Coors throw is online. It is close, and it is going to be in time to go. They set Kershaw. He collides with Tyler Flowers. Frank Coors threw him out at the plate. The Dodgers, though, might review this. I don't know if he didn't if he if he got his front foot I think he's out I don't know if he got his front foot did his lines it in the right and that's a hit Reyes will score holding third there's oh, two runners at third real Muto will tag one runner out that was odd Jeff Francoeur has started to warm up so Francoeur who pitched a, a number of times, a handful of times, I should say, last year with the Padres organization, getting some advice from Jonathan Papelbon. And it is uh, the Orioles that are bombarding the Phillies right now. But here's Fran Cor, who pitched when he was in high school and then hadn't pitched at all until last year with the El Paso Chihuahuas in the Padres organization. And there are his numbers, eight games, seven and a third. In fact, he won his first four games last year without allowing a run, then allowed a three-run home run. And that's what he'll top out at, 89 miles an hour. Now, his teammates are, you know, enjoying it, getting a chance to see him do this. He is as likable a person as you're going to see. And he just struck out Nolan Reimolds. It's kind of a slider that he threw right there. And there's one away here in the seventh inning. Either a slot or a split and backs up, whatever it is, and goes straight down. Brown ball right side. Utley's got it. Frank Poor perfectly there to cover, even without any spring training. Broke his bat, shattered it. Look out, it goes into the crowd. It's caught out of the air by Galvis, and it's a 1 2 3 inning for Jeff Frank Poor. Well, Jeff Frank Poor ready to go back to work for his second inning of relief. Fly ball right center field. That one will stay in the yard. Dominic Brown and Odubel Herrera are there, and Odubel makes the catch. Front desk calls. Is everything all right? There's a fly ball deep to left field. Ashy going back. He turns, reaches up, makes the catch. A run will score, and it's now 19 to three. Sacrifice fly. Two outs. So the bases are now loaded. Bob McClure out to the mound to talk to Jeff Francoeur. I, I think he's at, I think he's at his limit at 46 pitches. I, I really do. I mean, I, you know, they know better than we do. Chase is upset at Frenchie. I think Frenchie wants to stay in there. And he gets him to lift one in the shallow center field. Odubel Herrera says he has it. He's under it. Makes the catch, and the side is retired. Two innings for Francoeur. The Orioles increase their lead to 19 to three. Well, give him a round of applause for a heck of an effort here tonight as we go to the top of the ninth inning. 
That was time for the Illinois Lottery Anything's Possible replay, and there's a look at Jeff Francoeur. On a foul ball hit by Gordon Beckham. Francoeur goes over into the corner, thinking he might have a shot at it, but when he finds out he doesn't, he decides that he is kind of hungry. So he just reaches into a fan's popcorn and helps himself. <laughs> Illinois Lottery, anything's possible. 